Facebook bites, Princeton back, and the Mac turns 30. I'm Jeff Bacalar, in for Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. By now, you've probably heard of a widely circulated Princeton research paper that concluded Facebook would lose 80% of its users by 2017. Well, Facebook didn't find the paper too amusing and decided to do a little research of its own. The company has poked Princeton back with a study of its own, releasing a parody report claiming that Princeton University itself would lose half its students by 2018 and every single student by 2021. I guess it's a good thing Harvard didn't put out the original report. But a social network becoming unpopular? When has this ever happened before? So have you ever heard of the Nintendo game Nintendo World Championships? It was for the original NES. Well, you probably haven't because it's apparently the rarest NES game of all time. In fact, the company only made 116 copies of the game as a special promotion. So now a listing for a copy of the game has popped up on eBay, even though the label has been washed away. The seller claims it's an original World Championships game. Right now the auction is at over $5,000, but recently a copy of the game, in much better condition, went for eleven grand in a charity auction. 9 to 5 Mac is reporting that a new version of Apple's set-top box Apple TV is incoming. It's not the actual TV set that we've been clamoring for, but instead will contain a new operating system that's more akin to what iOS looks and feels like. It also sounds like the new Apple TV will support the downloading of games directly to the box. So if you've recently purchased an Apple TV, what should you do? Well, you obviously should just throw it away. No, I'm kidding. The new software will probably be compatible with all those old boxes as well. Sticking with Apple this year, the company's iconic home computer turns 30, which should make everyone watching this feel very old, including myself. CNET has a huge section carved out to celebrate three decades of the Mac and a whole lot more, so be sure to check it out. Have you got some bitcoins burning a hole in your virtual pocket? Well now a major online computer retailer is accepting the digital currency as payment. Tiger Direct is the latest outlet to accept bitcoin in a move that will help the movement that aims to nudge the platform into relevancy. Bitcoin had an explosive 2013 in terms of popularity and interest, regardless of whether or not people fully understand it. That's your tech news update, but you can find more details at cnet.com update and always catch up with the latest stories by following me on Twitter. From our studios here in New York, I'm Jeff Bacalar.